So now that we have covered the theoretical mapping of anesthesia machine and divided it into pressure zones, let's just have a practical demonstration of an overview of the pressure zones on the anesthesia machine, rather I'd say the anesthesia workstation because it's got all the fancy panels as well. We started off the mapping with a high pressure zone. So the high pressure zone of the machine is located on the back side. The high pressure zone contains the cylinders, right? So there's nitrous oxide blue colored cylinder, there is white oxygen cylinder, and then there is space for the air cylinder. So this is the high pressure zone where the pressures are around 750 of nitrous oxide to 2000 of air and oxygen. Now once this high pressure goes inside, there is a primary pressure regulator which reduces the pressures to 45. We have discussed that. And this is where the intermediate zone begins. So somewhere between the high pressure zone and the frontal low pressure zones, somewhere inside this panel which we cannot see lies the intermediate zone. And we discussed the hospital pipelines, right? So the hospital pipeline system, you can see the pipeline supplies with different color codes, the blue for nitrous oxide, yellow for air and white for oxygen. So these pipelines at the pressure of 45 to 55 psig go straight into the inlets of pipelines, right? And straight to the intermediate zone because they are already qualified for the intermediate pressure zones. A question arises that how can we know the exact pressures of pipeline and oxygen cylinders? Well, there is on the front panel a separate uh, pressure gauge for cylinders, you can see for nitrous oxide and oxygen. It's zero at the moment because we have shut the cylinders. And below you can see the pressure gauges of various pipelines. For oxygen, it's around 4.2 or 4.1 bar. So that accounts for around 55 to 58 PSIG, which is quite normal. And what about the low pressure zones? We said that the low pressure zone begins with the flow meters. So the flow meter valve or the flow control valve located on the inferior as aspect of flow meter somewhere inside reduces the pressures further to low pressure zone. So the frontal side of this anesthesia machine is mostly comprising of the low pressure zone which includes the flow meters and then the mixture of gases going through the vaporizers, right? And then further into the circuit through the ventilator and into the circuit and out to the patient. So the front panel contains the oxygen flow meters, the nitrous oxide and the air flow meters and these gases then mix up and go through the vaporizers. Now it's written here SORC, so it is sensitive oxygen ratio controller. We will discuss that in the low pressure zone episode. So the whole point of this demonstration was to just give you an overview and not overwhelm you with the information of anesthesia machine. Now we discussed that in the intermediate zone the oxygen pipeline divides and it gives off a branch to auxiliary oxygen port and the oxygen flush which bypass the low pressure zones and go straight to the breathing circuit here somewhere. So where are those oxygen flush ports or the auxiliary oxygen ports? It's located right in the front. You can see this is the auxiliary oxygen port, right? So it can be used even when the machine is off because it has a direct connection. So it is free of the electric power. So we discussed that the oxygen flush bypasses the low pressure zones of vaporizers, flow meters and the breathing circuits and it directly delivers a thrust of oxygen to the patient. So if I press oxygen flush here, what would happen? See. So the gases have gone directly into the breathing circuit. So it has bypassed the intermediate zone, it has bypassed the flow meters, it has bypassed the vaporizers and it has gone straight to the patient circuit. So these are the pressure zones that we have covered in the overview of the anesthesia workstation.